pregnancy can be hard enough as is, but add in other medical conditions like asthma, and that can really add stress to an already stressful situation. It's harder to move up and down stairs, sometimes getting out of bed, just because there's, you have to pause, take a breath, and then go on. We met up with Sharon Pomachagua. She was 26 weeks pregnant then. She says that she was diagnosed with asthma at 18, but it's gotten worse with each of her pregnancies. When we got that smoke from Canada, oh my gosh, it was, it was very bad. Um, I, when I went outside, I used my N95 mask, even if it was just to go to the car. She's been under the care of Mercy Medical Center OBGYN Dr. Robert Atlas. Dr. Atlas says for some pregnant women, their asthma may not bother them. For patients who have mild asthma, we don't think it interacts with pregnancy at all. What we worry about are patients with severe asthma, who are on multiple medications, who are struggling to breathe. He says you shouldn't panic if you're pregnant and experiencing some labored breathing. Patients who are having shortness of breath is a normal finding in pregnancy. So there's this breathlessness that women have. But for Sharon, it was about balancing her asthma medication to make sure that it's working for her. So many women do it backwards. They use their inhaled corticosteroid with their long-acting beta agonists when they're in trouble and then use the rescue inhaler daily. It needs to be opposite. That's exactly what Sharon does with her medication now. So all that's left now that she's breathing easier is counting down the weeks until she meets her baby girl.